Hello again viewers, Dubliner, Gaelic Corner right behind me, St Patrick's Day is coming up, Irish viewers, let's check out some great Irish bars that you might frequent when you're over here, they're going to be really really busy the whole day, watch till the end, we'll see where we end up, let's start at one of the biggest and the best, the Gaelic Corner and the Dubliner. So if you're new to Tenerife and you're not quite sure where all these bars are, the good news is I'm going to show you quite a few. So we've got the Gaelic Corner and the Dubliner, very very lively here on St Patrick's weekend. During the day they're going to have live music inside, also the Dubliner is normally very busy at night, the band plays at 3 in the morning, I believe there's probably got people on there during the day in the Dubliner as well, check them out on Facebook. You might have seen the video I've done with Paul from Scotch Corner, he's actually got a band that plays in there, so check Paul out and uh, it's going to be absolutely jam packed on St Patrick's Day. So we're bang in the centre of Las Americas really here. If you've not watched any of the videos on the channel, just to let you know where we are. Across the road we've got a couple of nice restaurants, Tandoori Hut, uh, Dido's and a few other places. Not far down there we've got the La Siesta Hotel, the H10 Hotel Conquistador and a few other places. And basically just round the corner we've got the Patch, Princess Dyes, Bad Bobs, the Billy. Done a lot of videos there so check them out. Um, down here, just a wee bit down the hill. Just a couple of nice surf bars, we've got Jag Scottish Bar. On the left hand side we've got the Sax Rock Bar as well. So just letting you know where we are when we start this walk. I reckon in St Patrick's Day, judging by previous ones, the videos I've seen, the people are going to be standing about here enjoying the live music as well. It's so busy in here, you probably won't get a seat. That's the Dubliner down the stairs. So you're probably going to have a choice between the Gaelic Corner and the Dubliner. You might need both because it's so busy. Hiya! I said hello there. So that is the Dubliner and the Gaelic Corner. Now the good news is viewers, if you've been out all day drinking on St Patrick's Day and you're staying out late at night, you can get a wee fish and chips on the way home here. That's the H10 Las Palmeras Hotel. Next door, we've got the Railway Tavern, the Bell and the Palms oh, Fish and Chip Shop. I actually forgot, it's still a car access here. Um, hello there viewers, see me in the reflection. H10 Las Palmeras. So here we've got the Railway Tavern. Palms Fish and Chip Shop, I'll be open later on. It's open late tonight, especially in St Patrick's Day. I'll be open to very early hours in the morning. And you can get your fish and chips here and have a pint and sit here and watch it here. So that's the good news. You can get a pint from the Railway Tavern or the Bell, get your fish and chips in the Palms and you're more than welcome to sit here. It's quite busy, it's a wee sun trap here. Walk right through it. That's the bell. Family bar, they do karaoke in there. You might have seen it in Cole's, Cole's place. Check it out on YouTube. We've done a wee video with the Mac Master in there. Check it out. So that's the bell. Walk quickly through. Quite busy. Some random wee supermarkets here. Doctors or chemists there as well. Let's walk back out again, viewers. If you're staying at the park, Cristobal, then you're in luck for St Patrick's Day. It is bang in the centre of here, and you're right next to the Dubliner and the Gaelic Corner. But let's show you a few other bars. We'll walk around the corner. Watch till the end, viewers. Where do you think I'm going to end up? Where's the last bar do you think I'm going to finish at? Let me know in the comments if you've guessed it. So, very affordable restaurants here, Anthony's Bar, the Savoy, Impress Your Friends, check in on Facebook, always say that. Three course menus, €10.95. I've never actually had food in here, but I've heard it's okay. Just can't complain of that price, I don't know how they can do it. Another wee popular bar there as well. Anthony's Bar not open just now, maybe open later on. Let's continue. So, Further down, maybe just under 10 minutes walk away, is the Veronica Strip. We're not going as far down as that, but... We're going to take it right here, viewers. You're starting to guess where I'm going now. Now also, if you're here for St Patrick's Day, there's a good chance you're here for the Cheltenham week, for the horse racing, maybe just before that. So I'm going to show you a couple of places where you can get a bet. I have done a video before, check it out on the channel, um, but I'll show you a couple of places you can get a wee bet in Las Americas. Here is a place that does not send you to sleep, PJs. 
<laughs> How busy is it? It's a wee sun trap, good sports bar. Um, always quite busy when I go by it day or night. There's always a lot of people in. Um, they obviously do food as well, but more known as a sports bar. And we've got a wee Harley Davidson bike shop next door as well. Let's cross over, viewers. So, if I wanted to continue just down there, we've got the Sol Tenerife Hotel. And the Veronica Strip further down there as well. Veronica Strip's never busy during the day. Um, there might be, it's a Patrick's weekend, the possibility a couple of bars do open during the day there. Especially if there's football on at the weekend. Because it, Tenerife's really quite busy then. It's busy just now, to be honest. Mostly families here, but when the school holidays. Okay, so let's check out a few other places. We'll decide who we're going to cross over here. And the good thing is, if you're not really interested in going to any Irish bars, I'm showing you a lot of other places so you can go as well. They might be not be as busy because other places are full. Yeah, we're also going to Pompeii as well. Little Italy Steakhouse. Spice of India, I've not been in that one yet. Got a few bars coming up just over here, which I'll show you in a minute. Sports and Shisha Bar in there as well. Got Hong Kong restaurant over there, pretty affordable. Atlantico restaurant over there as well. We're going to cross here just in a wee minute. Let's see viewers, there is the Giddy Goose as well, which is going to be really busy. Obviously that weekend as well, obviously not an Irish bar, but a proper bar that's been here for years. And if you fancy a wee martini restaurant next door, let's cross over viewers. It's getting filmed in the afternoon, so quite a lot of the restaurants won't be open yet. They'll get really busy later on. Uh, one of the bars I did tell you about, um, where you can get a wee bet on, is just coming up. And I think possibly this is another one as well. You used to be able to, I'm not sure if you still can, but, but check. They're advertising the horse racing, so that is a good sign. They probably are doing that as well. That's the English Rose. I've done another video showing you that anyway. But we're going to walk up and show you another Irish bar. Hill might just be able to reverse the form on different terms as well, would you quit? So here's quite a late night bar, it's a very big bar, inside and outside. A lot of seating on the terrace to watch the racing at Cheltenham. I'd assume they're probably going to have live music on here. If you're staying in the last pit of Maz, just up the road there, it's a pretty good location here as well. So that's the Anchor Sports Bar. Was shut for quite a long time and now it's reopened again. Horse racing shown live every day. The last time I was here, they were advertising pints at 150. Don't know if that's still the case, maybe a wee bit more, but it's a very big bar anyway. Seating goes all round the side. So let's continue the Irish tour. Still watching, viewers. Thanks very much. Try to help you out. It's a Patrick's Day if you're interested in going to the Irish bars. Where do you think we're going to end up? Surely you've guessed by now. We'll see. So on, on the left hand side, we've got the Barranco Apartments. Not actually been in those yet. Actually I did walk in, I couldn't figure out where the pool was to show them. If you're staying in the Barranco, then you're quite close to all these Irish bars. If you're staying in the Columbus across the road, you're also very close to it. About a seven minute walk or six minute walk over the hill through the roundabout is the Mary Lanza Resort. I met a couple of uh, guys from Scotland on the plane who were staying there. Quite a nice hotel, Platinum Hotel, Thompson. Round the corner, you've got the Whiskey Jar. Pop in, see the guys here, good wee bar. You've got the Oro Negro round the corner and the Oro Blanco, five minutes walk round the corner as well. Just out, round the corner there, you've got the Tigatan Hotel. You've also got one of the Coral Suites hotels there as well. You've got the famous Jersey Cow that's been there for many, many years. Still advertising East Enders and Coronation Street outside. <laughs> I find that quite funny. Um, but here is the next Irish bar we're just coming to. And it's one of the most popular ones here. We steakhouse the Chinese as well.
Paddy O'Kelly's. So Paddy O'Kelly's during um, Cheltenham and during um, St Patrick's Day. It's going to be absolutely jam-packed. We'll have live music on. We've got a mixed crowd in here. So I'd say maybe slightly younger crowd at times because the Columbus just across the road, that attracts some groups and younger crowds as well. Bit of a mix, but, but it's another Irish bar you'll probably love if you're coming here St Patrick's Day. Let's quickly cross over. Oh. It's just stopping. And let's conclude the tour at one of the most famous Irish bars here. So, I'm just going to head up there. How you doing? Hello, my darling. How you doing, alright? I'm doing fine. I'm from Renfrew and I watch oh. you all the time. Oh, thanks very well, much. Meet, meet my wee niece. Come oh, on. I appreciate that. You're like from, my granddaughter. From, what's your name? I'm Heather. Heather. What is Scotland, I? Pleased Heather. to meet you, Heather. And I watched uh, your mini shop there. I watched your position watching Night Rider. Oh, I can no opposition. We're all, we're, all doing, we're all doing different things. Oh, how are you? Aye, not you bad. How's yourself? I watched yesterday um, where you were. I'm mind to read it. But um, yeah, I said, I said something. You're here for three days. Um, I saw the other walkabout fella. I'm sure it was him. I saw yesterday with the water fountain. Come on, say hi to Kevin. Oh, is that your wee niece there? And ask her, Kevin, what team she supports. Oh, I'll need to ask her, yes. How you doing alright? How, how you doing alright? This what, what, is my what? daughter. How, how you doing? What's your name, mate? Anton. 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 Nice Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Chloe. Chloe. Chloe, wait to tell you a wee secret. My daughter's called Chloe. Whoa. That is a lovely name. A lovely name. Isn't it? Now, Chloe, I've been told to ask you what team do you support? Celtic? I thought you were going to say St Mum. No, I was saying St Mum before. Is that more shocking, Kevin? Who does Nana support? Rangers. Rangers, oh. Mummy support. I'm the referee. Oh, you're the referee in the, in the middle. Okay. So I thought we're going to go all the way around here. We're going to come to St Mum, surely, no? Celtic. Celtic, okay. So a good, a good wee mix here. But in saying that, you did go and see us at Marine Game. I did, aye. Just there. Somebody force you. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you staying, guys? Are you staying at Columbus? Columbus. Okay, you just, how long are you here for? Two weeks. Two weeks? I've been here before. Oh, you've been here before. Have you been here long? Uh, Thursday. 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 Hopefully the weather's starting to improve a wee bit as it goes on. I think it's going to improve. That's it. But you're just down the road from me. For viewers that don't know, my hometown is Paisley. Renfrew is right next to Paisley. Yep. If you think of Glasgow Airport, it's effectively between Renfrew and Paisley, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Um, so lovely to see you. Lovely to see you as well, Chloe. Hi. Lovely to see you. Oh, that's it. Where are you off to? You get out for the day? Just a wee walk. A wee walk. Okay. I'm here for a few days, so I might see you about. But it was lovely to see you. I'm literally just finishing a video at the Chieftain. So that was great, I just bumped into you there. Oh, fantastic. Okay, lovely to meet you. See you later, Chloe. Bye bye, thank you. See you later, guys. Bye bye. So, how nice was that? So nice to meet the viewers from Renfrew. Lovely meeting you guys. Wee Chloe, beautiful wee girl. My wee girl's called Chloe as well, she's a wee bit older now, but uh, what a lovely name. So good to meet them, and let's finish the tour at the Chieftain. So, we come here on St Patrick's Day. There we go. I've covered all these bars in this area for you. Maybe we'll do one in a, a decade. We'll see. There's not too many in Lost Chris. There is a few. I was in the fountain bar last night. That's a cracking wee bar. Jam sessions Monday and Thursday. Um, so that's the Chieftain, they do live music as well at night with Tommy and some other guys. Um, we'll be very busy, obviously at St Patrick's. And also next door, let's not forget, I always like to support the Scottish bars. So let's finish it at the Scots. Marshalls Sports and Entertainment Bar. This bar's quite relatively new, it's quite nice inside. I was in it the last time. Pop down see if I can show you a wee bit of it. That's Marshalls, so check it out. Some live, there's some music next door, so I'm trying to avoid that. So you can see they've got all the TVs set up, it's a nice bar inside, I believe the guys that run it from Scotland as well. So pop in and see Marshalls, if you're not interested in Irish bars, you can pop in here, I'll go next door to this Chieftain. So that's Marshalls Bar. A couple of nice restaurants here as well.
Okay, viewers. There you go. What a beautiful ending meeting the guys from Ren Renfrew. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Guys from Renfrew, made my day meeting you. I hope you have a great holiday. Maybe see you about. We'll see you on the next one. Don't forget on your way out. Hit the wee subscribe button. It does not cost a penny. It's absolutely free. We'll see you on the next one, okay? Let me know how many of those bars you've been in. Quite a few of the margin.